need to do this more, even if my hands are feeling iffy. I think this thumb thing is mostly from my yard work. You have to pull a lot, and my thumbs are not used to that kind of strain. At all. <sighs> so let's try and get at least this Remy scene, and how many lines of this? Is it doable? And like I said, if you just do little chunks at a time, you'll do a, you'll, you'll, your morale won't sink in. That's what you're really trying to do. You're trying to control your morale problems. Because losing morale is one of the biggest problems you can encounter when working on larger product is your mind gets so set on this large hole that it forgets that you have to do tiny steps to get to something big. A mile is made of many steps and forgetting that and thinking it's all about taking huge steps all at once, that's the problem. This, this doesn't have a due date or anything and I'm working on my own like everyone else gets buddy buddies and I have to do this all on my own. So this is a little different. It's like, okay then, Reza, what were you looking for in the library? It's a little bit more, hmm. It's a little more to the point. Like here it feels like, what did you want? Like you're looking for something in the library, you know? Like why are you immediately implying that some sort of shady, like this to me sounds like you immediately implied there's a shady deal taking place, even though Reza doesn't have any contacts. So you're probably looking for something, or someone. Oh, okay, we'll look for someone. I mean, Remy's a good source of information, and Remy seems like he'd easily cave to pressure. I can see Reza pressuring Remy into something. Some plenty. What a name. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit, a bit more, uh, a little bit more verbose. Nothing to say about that. I like how Adine shows up for the map and immediately thinks she... Like, to me, Adine's uncertainties and her own uh, self-image problems are kind of overshadowed by the fact that in this scene she's really forward and selfish. Like, for someone who's, you know, I don't know, it shows that Adine clearly has... She, I think she just has that kind of emotional spectrum, you know? She, she thinks that the relationship will last forever after they've been forged once. So maybe she doesn't understand that concept. So here it's different, it's not a negative. You can help an old friend, right? Um, because here we're just, like, I don't know, it's the same kind of intonation, it's just different, but it carries the same tone. Because a literal translation wouldn't work too well. So I gotta pick a different type of translation. God damn it. Ah. Apparently, today is a holiday. Something called Pentecost. No idea what that means. Oh, that's actually pretty, yeah. I guess Ladine would be less will be more inclined since, you know, she actually tried. Hmm. Interesting. So a bit of a forgotten uh, thing is Veer. This. Vince and Veer. Um, here we go. This one, this is one that a lot of people don't know about. Not many, everyone says Vince. Um, I think it's whom. The woman who, whose car, yeah, whose. We have a gendered version of that, because of course you have a gendered version. And no, there is no gender neutral version. Though, admittedly, no one is using the gender, uh, the female version. Everyone is using this one. Like, it's not a nuance that really is that important. Oh, it's formal. Wow, that's formal? Didn't know that. I thought that was like, just, uh, It's because it wasn't verbose. Wow, this is really hard to write, because for one, it's very flat English talk. 
Like, it's very hard to properly translate this without sounding a little too literal. Hmm. But it works. It works, I guess. So funny thing about girlfriend, um, this is kind of hard for Dutch people. You actually just use the term girlfriend for your girlfriend. It's another gendered word, because apparently we just fucking love them. Um, yeah, um, it's not as charged with dating as it is in English. Anyway, she says, I'm here now, and you still talk with that kind of tone. She was my friend too, you know. Like, it's very hard to write a Dean. Like, Dean does seem to lose a lot of her more casual approach to situations in this one scene. This might not be a long video, but that's fine. I got something done. I don't think... I don't think sorry for everything is something you can translate. Why is it on German? I, we never really say that. You just say that you're very sorry. Like, I feel like I've translated literally, but it doesn't work in Dutch. You don't say that you're sorry for everything. You say that you're just very sorry about it. No, I guess, I guess the problem might be the vor. Yeah, because you're sorry about something. I'll come back to that on my next pass through. this. I think that this should have been a scene where you stumble into a Dean. Like, a Dean is very out of character here. She is not herself. Um, she's angry, she's aggressive, she's forward, and she's very, very pragmatic. Perfect fucking character moment. Having you talk to her to, in this situation is a fantastic situation to explore her character. How would she react if suddenly someone that she appreciates shows up in front of her? If you have a bad relationship, she'd probably just storm right past. If you haven't met her before, she might be a little bit more, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, uh, I'm not like that at work or anything, don't worry about that. If you've met her and she's impressed, she's like, oh god, no, and her insecurities, because it works so well. Like, a key part is that she's insecure about herself and wants to prove herself and thinks she can't do enough. And then she shows up and she's super angry and she knows you saw that and she has to deal with that. She has to deal with the fact that someone she really likes that is on good terms with her saw her being angry, aggressive, and straightforward. Great character moment. Should not have given up on that. Ah. Oh. So, some people might know that sometimes I type this instead of OR. Uh, that's because OF is OR in Dutch, and it's really annoying. It's so close together. That, even on the keyboard, it's one key away from the other.
Now, this is kind of interesting. This is really fucking nuanced and says a lot about the player character. Um, this is a social nuance trick that's kind of weird, don't you think? Like, you wait. Not until Remy is, like, looks calm down or everything. You wait until he goes back to work, specifically. And you try to look busy so that he doesn't feel guilty. What the hell are you implying about the protagonist that they know this kind of very clever social maneuvering? P.S. I just looked through the Tome of Battle in 3.5 and fuck, that book is good. Ah, oh, I love those maneuvers. They're sexy. They're really, they're, they're, they're basically spells, but not really, and they, and every class that gets them free is great. I really don't like, though, is that they're really limited to them. Like, I guess that it encourages multi-classic similar to sorcery, but considering that the Tome of Battle's maneuvers kind of fix the fighter and paladin classes, I'm kind of sad that they made it so difficult for those classes to pick anything up. Like, you can pick up three. You can do it three times for three disciplines you want, and that's it. Um, it's much more useful for the others, because then you can pick up a discipline you can't normally pick. And I think that means that if a Sword Sage picks that feat three times, he can do any of them. Holy shit, that makes a Sword Sage extremely dangerous. Because White Raven is like ally buffs, and you mix that in, oh goddamn, oh, oh. I just love how my brain went from that, oh god. Like, my brain is now looking at the Tome of Battle and the fact that the Sword Sage can pick Martial Study three times. I think when you pick Martial Studies, you unlock the entire discipline, which means a Sword Sage can learn every single discipline. Including Right Raven, which is like super supportive. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, I've got to remember that this is where a couple of things are up. <laughs> Wait, how do you spell that? Denature. Oh wow, it's Dine. Yeah, then it is probably with. Yeah, then it. Dinner. Oh, this Dinner chess. Huh! Oh, okay. Man, someone's gonna read this and it's gonna be like, really? And I'm gonna be like, yes! And it's Het Dinage, not the Dinage. There goes my alliteration. Here's a big middle finger. But I learned something! Whee! <laughs> like, the funny thing I like about this is... The way this is set up... Um, he's gonna call you. If you got good, he's gonna call you. So, you know, he has to call. He, he, he's impressed. He's gonna make, make put a voicemail. very nuanced this is. Like, it really says a lot about uh, Remy. This is if you haven't met him at all. And this is if you've abandoned... No, you can't! Because you can't abandon him! You can only abandon someone on chapter 3 because you need to not date them on the, second ch on the next chapter. <laughs> Okay, there's a couple of options to translate. literally the same option. I guess it makes sense you will be asking the exact same question. Now, 
The funny thing is, if Reza is reading anything, he's reading geology books, astronomy books, anything that's related to the natural world. Which is pretty particular, Remy! I mean, Reza knows that this is Earth, so he'd probably be trying to validate his own assumptions, or he'd be trying to learn about the technology of the generators, which puts him in two very particular directions, which are pretty specific, which you should have picked up on, Remy! He's not reading about psychology or sociology 101, is he? He's probably also not reading about contemporary political science. That's really hard to do. Huh. My left arm is starting to act up, but luckily this is not a long one, so we're doing fine. I like how I make him say not really a bunch. Not really. Not really. Not really. Nah, I'm just gonna change this. Break it up a bit. So there's a crow in the area that's been bothering me for a while. My dad says, it's not a crow, it is a fucking crow! I know what crows look like, I know what those little great dipshits look like, and it's not a little great dipshit. It doesn't make the noise, it makes a That's a fucking crow. It's big and it flies at my head. It's probably just trying to protect its nest, but he says, oh, he just likes you. No, if things like me, they don't fly at my head while screeching loudly, or quietly, just to fly at my head so I can't duck in time. It's probably not going to attack me, because a bird trying to swoop into you that's not meant for swooping is a great idea to die, and I'm pretty sure crows are smart enough to know better. But he's trying to intimidate me, and I don't like it. It makes me nervous. I guess that just proves it does a good job. Oh yeah, yeah, if Remy doesn't like you, there's no reason to give a shit. Like, I do love that he do piss someone off. Like, I do... Th uh, one thing that annoys me is... There are a lot of moments when they could have made it so that the only way to get something done is to be on good terms with someone. To at least have dated them and haven't gotten off good. Not impressed, just good enough. Um, which in this case is neutral, for some reason. Uh, in, in, like, variable names. It would have been interesting if the only way to get Remy to talk about this is if you've dated him and he's, like, on your... Because it feels like it's trying to accommodate dating one person. Like, a lot of the game is date one person exclusively and you'll be fine. I would have loved if there was more, like, you have to date this other person too because they're important for this part. Like, it would have had more loops, and it would have given a lot more of trial and error. A lot more, I can't do this with just quick saves, because I need to do more than just a couple of auctions back, you know?
Come on, left arm, please hold on. I don't want to be the sad sack who can't even translate this little itty bitty. is this okay I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to fucking call it this is not gonna work this is not gonna work <sighs> I can always do is just take a small break what is this doing okay I'm just gonna stretch okay I can do this I can do this I've got to do this man <sighs> oh. oh shit that hurts Ah. You know, what I can always do is just put my one arm behind me and use my other hand. to do this in order to know what he's doing. Now he's doing... Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my other hand then and see how this works out. Go right hand. Yeah, you give me a thumbs up. You're doing a great job. Actually, it's not the first investigation, it's an investigation. Which means that this one needs to go away as well. <laughs> you know, sometimes I like to just not use one of my hands, just to see what it's like to not have both hands. And I gotta say, I think I could live with one hand. I couldn't play T-Doom, which would just bum me the fuck out. Like, I'd be super sad if I couldn't play Doom anymore. I need to finish the Kako Awards before my hands die. Or one of them does. Oh. It's now hanging behind me. It's really fun. missing the N key.
Yeah, I think, like, Adine assuming this is kind of weird. Like, I don't get the situation too well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to remove this. People don't say thank you like that to uh, start usually. to translate because again it's a lot of very embedded English context Ugh. So that's the thing that gets me about this, is Remy clearly is professional enough that um, the whole Reza thing, he's very... Like, Damien is such a jackass about it, but Reza, yeah, he, he, d d Remy is just professional. He just, like, no, I know what the situation's like, oh, oh. Okay, okay, there we go. I like how Remy is like, I don't know if the situation's not good. kind of interesting this conversation takes several different directions. Like this! Like these little things of like characters being like, I don't know you, so I don't really need to tell you everything. Huh. that you do give a really good apology. Oh, oh no, it's the other way around. Fuck. Ah. Oh. Oh. I like how this isn't really an apology as much as it is it's your fault, Remy. is kind of a weird thing to s actually this can only really happen on yeah i do love that when something is as time locked as these you can't do certain things like this would not work if this happened anywhere else
Is this it? Okay, that's all. Yep, okay, we're pretty close. Fair. What a fucking word. Fair. No, this is not the fucking term. date for no reason. Yeah, that teenage thing is going to come up in the Remy date review. And then Remy's good. Okay. And there we go. Thank God. Oh, man. Hey, we did something. We See you guys next time. When I'm going to tackle a slice of Tatsu Park, because Tatsu Park is a big chapter. Chunk. Look at this. Oh. Like, I know a lot of this is programming, but God ziggity. Oh, yeah, Lu fucking Lucius with his goddamn combat arm and his feathery flaps. I like how some characters just seem to struggle to fit the fuck in. Oh, like fucking Sith, who's eighth. Look at this. He has supposed to have four eyes. Like some of these characters really feel like they barely fit in. Like they really have to struggle to get him in. These are funny. I look like some, like. Forgetting the fact that she's wearing probably the most pieces of clothing of any character in the entire goddamn game. In terms of articles, like, I think Remy technically... Nah. Remy's still just one piece, really. Although, I think this guy manages to top it off real nicely, too. Jean with his uniforms. And then it's really only dragons. The humans are still wearing the regular attire. She's probably the most dressed up, though. She wears a hat on top of wearing gloves. Damn. And he wears either a hat or gloves. And then it's just wristbands. Why is he wearing Playboy cuffs anyway? <laughs> Why was he zooming like you're supposed? You gotta wear this. <laughs> wear these Playboy cuffs. You'll look great. Ah. Ah.